Hey guys! Before you practice, be sure to give this super quick aerial silk warm-up a try. It takes less than 15 minutes and you'll be ready to practice. We're starting off with some jumping jacks. So we'll be doing those for about 30 seconds. And this is just to make sure you start warming up well. Awesome. Now let's move on to alternating side lunges. So we'll be doing these for 30 seconds. You should stand with your legs wide apart and then bring your body down into the side by bending one knee while the other knee remains straight. Try to go as low down as possible. I remember that I was doing this right after a leg day and I was really sore. Um, so definitely if you can go lower than I am, that would be great. If not, otherwise just go as low as you can. And again, 30 seconds. there starting with scapular pulse. So to do this you're going to need to wrap your arms twice um, and around the silk and then you're going to bed hang and lift your legs off the ground and then you're going to do some pull-ups that engage your back. They should be like small pulls. Make sure that you keep your arms straight. So this is a little different because you're keeping your arms straight but definitely super helpful for building strength. We do this after, I, I think pretty much every time we practice. Definitely one of the best exercises that you shouldn't skip. Again, we're doing this for 30 seconds. As many reps as you can. Well done, now let's do some knee tucks. To do knee tucks, you're gonna keep the same grip and the same bed hang as the scapular pulse, but this time, you're going to engage your core and you're going to try to bring your knees as high up to your chest as possible in a very controlled way. Try not to use much momentum and try to really engage your core. We're gonna do a, this for 30 seconds. Almost done. Nice, I know that one's a core killer. Let's move on to straddle. So to straddle, you're going to start with your hands wrapped in the same way and you're going to lift your body up and think about bringing your body, your upper body down and extending your legs on each side outside of the fabric. If you're not able to do a full straddle, um, you can definitely just tie the fabric together to create a hammock and then mimic the same motion with the support of the silk under you as you see in the screen on the side. 30 seconds. Oh, that was fast. Now let's move on to our core. So we're gonna be doing basic climb. I'm starting with the right side here. And I'm not gonna have a timer here for this one because it's just important that you can get um, as many full climbs as you can out of your system. For me, that's about three. I have pretty long legs. Um, I also try to wave while I'm doing this because I want to work on my, um, I guess my grace while I'm climbing. So if you can sink your body down to create a wave, definitely do that. And when you're done, just French down the silk as you saw me do. Nice, now we can move on to the next side. If you're not done with the, the right side, feel free to pause the video. As you see, I had to take a break and I definitely hate climbing on the left side, but we have to do it, of course. So um, here, I'm wrapping my left leg and then I'm climbing up. I'm trying to do as many climbs as I can. For me, again, it's about three of them. Um, you might not be able to see my upper body here, but you know, of course I'm completing that third climb and sinking my body down to wave at the same time. When you're done,
done, just bring yourself back down as gracefully as you can, maybe not like me. Yay, we're all done with our warm ups. Now it's time to stretch. Start by reaching up as high as you can to stretch out our entire body. And then we're gonna spread our legs and reach down as far as you can as well. Try not to force yourself too much, but um, if you cannot touch the floors yet, that's totally fine. Then we're gonna lift our right arm and turn to the right side. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. Kind of open your upper body a little bit. From there, we're going to get into downward dog position. We're gonna walk our dog for a little bit. Until you feel nice and free, loose. And then from there, we're going to rotate our left leg three times on each side. And then we're gonna step that foot forward and we're gonna try to bring our hips to the floor. From there, we're going to stay in that position of bringing our hips as low as possible. Maybe you can get on your elbows if you can. Kind of stretch out as much as you can. And then we're going to grab our left leg. I'm sorry, our right leg with our left hand. When we're done, we're going to get into our low lunge position. Then we're going to stretch our back out a little by doing three big swings forward. And then we're just gonna do a quick back bend in that position. From there, we're going to move into the monkey position. And then we're gonna alternate between that low lunge and that monkey position a few times to try to get our legs to be loose before we split. And whenever you feel like you're loose enough, you can go ahead and get into your full split position. I started with my left side because my left side, side is less flexible. That's kind of what I try to do most of the time when I remember. So um, that's definitely something you can try to do first because I feel like I always stretch the first side that I do more than the second, and my left side definitely needs as much help as possible. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stay here for a little while. From there, I'm going to grab my back leg with my right hand. Just kind of hold it. Then I'm going to reach over top and I'm going to try to bring my upper body as much to the front leg as I can without necessarily putting strain on your back. And then I'm going to reach over top and try to do the side straddle. When you're ready, you can walk your dog again, and then you're going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side. Step that leg forward, and try to sink your hips down as far as possible. Lay that back leg down, try to get those hips nice and loose, and then if you can, bring your elbows closer to the floor. Stay in this position for a little while. Lizard position. From there, I'm going to grab my left leg with my right hand. Try to open your chest by turning a little to the right when you do this. From there, I'm getting into that low lunge position. And then I am going to stretch my back a little.
done, stay in that monkey half split position. Hold it for a little while. And when you're ready, you can go into the full split. So this is what you can, as you, I was telling you about, as you can see, my right side is not um, as, it, well, I should say my left side is not as flexible as my right side, which is why I chose to stretch that side first. The side's usually the easy side. It's good to do the hard things first. Stay here for a little while. And then reach over top. And then grab your back leg with your left hand. Just hold that for a little while. From there, you're going to bring your body forward. Try to bring your upper body as close to your front leg as possible. And then you're going to reach over top with your opposite hand to your leg. So I'm using my left hand to reach my right leg on this side. Okay, from here we're going to get into the straddle position. And we're going to practice our pancake. Swing from side to side to kind of get loose and prepare myself to go down as low as I possibly can. And when I first started doing this movement, it was really, really difficult for me to do. Now it's a little bit easier, but there are still some days like today where it feels really hard. So go down as far as you can. Try not to hunch your, your lower, your back. When you feel like you've gotten enough of a stretch from your pancake, you can come up from that. And we're all done. Amazing job guys. Warm up complete and it only took us about 12 minutes or so. If you like this video, please remember to leave us a like. It really helps us out, lets us know that you enjoyed this content. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel and let us know what other kind of warm up videos you'd enjoy in the future. Stay safe and have a great aerial practice session.